Hello. So today I actually was just reading this article yesterday. I was kind of interested. I thought I'd just make a video discussing it. And I've kind of talked about uh, some of these beauty subscription boxes off and on. A few months ago, I kind of just predicted that they'd be over, but they haven't really been over. But uh, anyway, with everything, costs going up, shipping costs going up, everything going on, going up like that, I kind of thought they'd slowly drop off. And I kind of think that's what might be happening. But anyway, I'm going to talk about Birchbox, which was one of the very first beauty subscription boxes that really launched kind of the whole industry. And uh, there's a few things that got me interested in skincare, but one year for Christmas, my uh, my uh, sister-in-law got me a birch box, and that's kind of one of the things, I think the Skin Fix hand cream was in that one, and I think that was one of the things that started to get me hooked into skincare. Um, anyway, so birch box, subscription beauty box that really became popular in the U.S., at one point they were valued at uh, $500 million, which if even if I'm not good at math, I think that's a half a billion dollars, I could be wrong, a lot of money. Uh, so they started this, and uh, what year did they launch? 2014. In 2014, Birchbox was considered a pioneer of the subscription box industry, boasting hundreds of thousands of subscribers and a $485 million valuation. Uh, and they were started by two Harvard graduates that uh, based this off of what they saw Netflix doing, uh, sending movies, DVDs through the mail via a subscription. And they thought we should do this for... Uh, beauty. So they came up with the idea in 2009 and uh, they modeled off Netflix and they slowly, slowly grew. Uh, they were able to secure lots of funding, uh, $1.4 million seed funding. Uh, and then uh, a couple of years later, they had another $10.5 million in funding and then eventually $60 million in funding. And at one point, uh, they boasted uh, 800,000 subscribers and uh, even acquired people, and they eventually got into Walgreens doing pop-ups, and I think they had a couple small stores where you could test things, and their kind of model was, you test this stuff out, and then we'll sell you the full size, which really never really translated, I don't think, to huge sales, uh, so that was their kind of thing. You test it out, and then we'll sell you the full size in these brands, and I think they, they didn't get, it just didn't uh, translate into sales for them, um, Interestingly, by 2016, uh, the Wall Street Journal counted at least 300 subscription beauty services. And by 2016, Ipsy was beating Birchbox. Ipsy had 1.5 million subscribers and Birchbox had barely a million. Uh, so everyone just copied them. So eventually they kind of started this whole trend. And then eventually there's 300 competitors. A lot of them probably with more money or bigger names or bigger brands. Uh, so eventually, uh, some of these uh, the founders left, and by 2020, uh, Birchbox ended up having to conduct more layoffs. They were slowly having to lay people off, just not making as much money. They're still selling subscriptions at this point until 2021. Uh, they were acquired by Femtech Health, which was a startup focusing on technology to transform healthcare for women. They paid $45 million for Birchbox, which at one point had been valued at half a billion dollars, and they ended up getting bought for $45 million, which is still, uh, still a lot of money, but nowhere near half a billion dollars. So I've been noticing over the last few years, a lot of these beauty boxes are trying to get people into year-long, locking them into year-long subscriptions. Uh, Birchbox has been very aggressive about it. Allure has been very aggressive about it. Uh, Allure is always like, hey, we're going to raise the prices, but if you sign up for a year, you'll save $2 a month. Uh, Birchbox doing the same thing a, a lot, like the, do the Detox Box from Detox Market, same deal, trying to get people locking into a year. So Birchbox has locked in a lot of people to a year, uh, especially during like Black Friday. That was a huge thing. Uh, this is a deal. You'll get it for a year and you just pay once and it's a really good deal. Uh, but people are posting on Instagram. Uh, what a joke. I paid for a year subscription. only got three months worth before the company vanished. And I've been a customer for years. So a lot of people are noticing they're not getting any boxes anymore. And interestingly, uh, one vendor has taken Birchbox or Femtech Health or whoever owns it now to court over missing payments. They have uh, haven't paid some of its vendors as well as a content creator. There's another subscription box that is going through this uh what one is it 
it's not kinder, but something like that where they, oh, it was like a, uh, I should have Googled this before I started talking, but anyway, they were like an ethical-based subscription box, and now all our vendors are having to sue them because, uh, so we sent them 80 thousand bottles of this product to go in these boxes and they never paid them for the product so they're selling these subscription boxes uh and not paying any of their vendors so anyway uh yeah so one of those beauty boxes one of you guys will think about it and know it instantly i know it uh are having their vendors post things on instagram how embarrassing uh you're not paying your vendors and now they're posting on instagram and now everyone knows not only are you uh, not paying your vendors, you're not filling your subscriptions. Where's all this money going? Somebody's got it. But who knows, maybe it's just been spent and gone now. So all these vendors, they even had a content creator, Birchbox had a content creator that they had to deal with, and they haven't paid them either. So now they've got upset subscribers. The people supplying the products for the subscriptions, for the subscribers, aren't getting paid and it's just becoming a mess. So uh, Birchbox website is uh, looks like it's disabled. It says, we are experiencing some technical difficulties at this time. Please check back at a later time. Technical difficulties? Hmm, I don't know what's so technical about it. You've really screwed up your business. Uh, and uh, Femtech Health probably shouldn't have spent $45 million on this, especially knowing that uh, they couldn't afford to even pay these vendors. So in some of these smaller beauty boxes, these vendors are just like creative people that just make art and it's like their thing and now they're not even getting paid for that. And uh, I think one of them for this other beauty box was a, they made nail uh, stickers and now they're not getting paid for any of it and it's really hurting them too. So it's a mess when there's no money for anybody to be made and now people have signed up for a year. That's why I will never sign up for anything. Um, like that. I remember when I was far younger, there was a little tiny gym I'd go to once in a while. I think it was like $5 just to go for the day. And the, the gym owner was really pushing me. If you give me $200 cash, I'll give you a year subscription or a year's access to the gym and that's it. You don't have to pay anything else. Just give me the cash, cash, cash. And I'm like, that's weird. I'm like, something's weird with that. And the next day I went back to the gym and it was closed. So had I given my $200 or whatever, I'd have been out it. So any, anytime a lawyer does that, I mean, sometimes it ends up being a good deal, but you just never know with all this stuff going on, all these other subscription boxes are folding. I think Ipsy and um, the other uh, BoxyCharm are combining. So I just, with the shipping costs and gas prices, I just don't think it's as uh, as as good a model as it once was when it was cheap to ship and gas wasn't as expensive and vendors really want to get their name out. And I think everything's kind of, uh, eh, there's a lot going on with everything. So anyway, so anytime you see a deal to subscribe to something for a year, just be, just be very cautious because I don't want anybody else to get, uh, screwed out of 70 bucks. I mean, some of these people subscribe for a year and now they got three boxes and then they're, that's just it. And it looks like they're going to file for bankruptcy and, when that happens, I think maybe at some point in 10 years, everyone will get like $5 back or something like that. So anyway, and the other founder from uh, Birchbox now is the CEO of Victoria Beckham Beauty. So she's doing all right. The founders, I think, got out and now everyone else is on the hook. So the worst part is the vendors, obviously. And obviously, it's the subscribers, but the vendors, when that's their whole livelihood, and they're, they're, they've already sold, given these products to them and not to get paid is going to hurt their bottom line huge. So anyway, interested in hearing your thoughts. Do you subscribe to any beauty boxes? And if so, what is it? Or are you in this birch box mess? Or think about the Walmart beauty box. Uh, last week, they accidentally charged everyone uh, for 100 boxes. So instead of paying $70, all these, or $7, all these people got charged $700 at the very end of the month when rent is doing things like that. So Beatbox industry is very interesting. So anyway, interest hearing your thoughts on this. Leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye-bye, guys.